They don't know that I'm making dinner. Creamy rotisserie chicken noodle casserole. Very strong aversion to onions. Trying to trip me. I'm just not realizing that seems really weird to me. Oh gosh, it's already bubbling. Oh, that's freaking me out. Hi everybody, um, it's Marlo. I'm here at um, Jessica, Valerie, Hannah, and Bad Daddy's house. Um, I've been watching the poodles for them while they've been out of town and I decided that I would, they're coming home today, and I decided that I would make them dinner so that they didn't have to think about it after their trip. So um, I was looking at recipes the other day and I found this one called creamy rotisserie chicken noodle casserole. <laughs> and luckily we had all the ingredients already here. So anyway, I'm gonna start making that. I prepped a little bit earlier. I chopped up some of the vegetables. And then, yeah, so, okay, let's get started. Okay, first it says to preheat the oven to 400. So, that's done. <laughs> I'm getting um, periodic updates from Hannah on their drive. I. I guess I should also say they don't know that I'm making dinner and I'm kind of nervous that they're gonna stop and get something on the way here, which is fine, but anyway. Okay, so preheat the oven to 400. Now it says heat two tablespoons of oil in a large skillet over medium heat, add onion and cook until softened and beginning to brown. So I'm gonna do that. Got my tablespoon and uh, olive oil. So I'm just gonna put two tablespoons in the skillet and I have it on medium heat. I chopped some onion earlier. It's about a one half cup. It's a little bit more than I asked for, but most of everything that I had was a little bit more than the recipe. So it's just gonna be a little bit bigger than. Anyway, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a very strong aversion to onions, so chopping this onion today was <laughs> quite spicy for me. I don't normally cook with onion at all for any reason. I may have done it wrong. I was like, I know that I've seen videos of people chopping onions in the way that it won't make you cry or like the right way, like where they chop this part this way and then this way and then they chop like that and they come out in these perfect little dice squares but I don't know how to do that I tried <laughs> so my onions are kind of diced kind of chunky I don't know that's what they look like not too bad all right so they just have to cook until they're a little bit brown and something else it said. So they've been cooking for about four minutes and they're starting to brown, definitely softening. The instructions say to add the celery and carrots and cook until almost softened, about five minutes. So this is a bowl I prepped earlier of I think a cup and a half of carrots and then about a, a cup of celery. Like that. I'm gonna pour that in. These delicious onions. Oh, thanks for sitting right behind me, Daryl, and trying to trip me. Okay, after those cook for a little bit, I have to sprinkle with flour. It said about two tablespoons, so I got that out earlier. Maybe I should put more in there since I've done a little bit more of everything. Um, and the salt and pepper, I did a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. So we do that and then we stir in until it's coated and then increase heat and add milk. So it asks for two cups of milk. So I haven't gotten that out yet, but I'm about to. Two cups of milk. I'm just now realizing that seems really weird to me. To put milk in this, but I don't cook very often, so anyway. Two cups of milk. This is the, um, measuring cup that had the onions in it, so. Now for the spilled milk we won't be crying about. Oh gosh, it's already bubbling. 
that's fine, I guess. It said like two minutes. I'm supposed to be stirring it, I guess, to make sure like, I'm scared. This is so watery. Or milky. <laughs> I don't know if it's like apparent. Yeah, it surely it is. I'm not a confident cook uh, in any regard. Like anytime I cook something, I'm like, oh my gosh, is it supposed to look like that? Oh, that's freaking me out. I think that that's probably good, but let's, let's check it out, should we? Cook stirring until thickened and bubbling about two minutes removed from heat. Okay, I think we're thickened. So we're gonna go ahead and remove from the heat. Sorry about that camera placement. <laughs> And then it says to add the noodles. Um, so it called for three cups of cooked noodles, but they had four made. So putting in four cups of noodles. Just gonna stir that in there. So stirring that in and then stirring in the chicken so it was supposed to be two cups of rotisserie chicken we didn't have rotisserie but we had chicken breasts and i boiled them and then let them soak in um a little concoction i made that's that i googled um that's supposed to be rotisserie chicken spices so so this is what that looks like and i think it's more than two cups but i didn't measure it um but you know more protein whatever so i used like garlic powder and onion powder and paprika salt and pepper white pepper and black pepper and cayenne pepper i also shredded it after i boiled it so hopefully it's good <laughs> who knows who knows? Not me yet. Hopefully the Brookses will tell us that it's good later. But this is what that looks like all stirred up. Looks pretty freaking good. Hope it tastes pretty freaking good. Let's see what the um, last thing we're supposed to add is. And peas. Okay, so I drained a can of peas and I'm gonna add that in there. And then we gotta transfer it to the baking dish. Okay, everybody's home. We're about to eat. Here's what this crazy thing looks like. Um, it has peas, carrots, celery, and onions in it. Plus noodles and chicken. And then the topping was panko breadcrumbs, and then I added um, some French fried onions. Yummy. Yeah. Daddy. What? Right now, Philip and Patrick can't stay home by the sea. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Um, and it's warm. You might want to heat it up a little bit. Okay. I might heat it up just a smidge. Okay. okay. Like, how much? We could toss it in the oven for a minute if you think that would be good, or we can heat up individual plates. Whatever you think. I'd say individual. Look at that onion. Look at that onion. <laughs> All right. See what you think. All right, see. Oh, no. Mommy, I, I like it okay, but it's not the best. Mommy, I don't like it. Okay, you thank like you. It okay. Thank you for trying it. Here's some more. Here, somebody you else can, try it next. You, can rinse you, that out. Try, you try it. <laughs> I think it probably reminds her of Popeye. Oh. Um, I really like it. Yay! Woo! Okay, I'm and, next. And you know, you're right. It's it like, does. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I like it too. Yay! Okay. Okay. Woo wee! That was a tough one. Now that I now that she said that about pot pie, it does kind of smell like that. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I'm trying and to get it out with anything. Um, sage or mm, a little like it? Yeah. Okay, there's, a, there's a season. There's a. Oh, it has thyme in it. That's what it Marlo, is. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Um, I thought about heating up some chili for you. Sure. Okay. Well, I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Mine's cold anyway. I have to heat it up. 
because I wanted to try it before. Oh, Thank you so much for cooking for oh, us. You're welcome. That was so sweet and so thoughtful. Yay. I'm so happy that you like it and it's edible. Thank you, Marlo. <laughs>